When you have a list on an Excel worksheet, it's easy to do quick filters using the built-in auto filter tool. This has its limitations though, so we'll see the easy steps and then see where you have to use something else. So we have this list and I would like to filter and just see the Food Mart orders. So I can find any cell that has Food Mart, right click, click Filter, Filter by Selected Cells Value. That automatically creates an auto filter in this range of cells and it filtered the customer list for the cell that I had selected. You can see on the data tab that the filter button has been enabled and I could clear the filter to see all the customers again or I could turn that filter off completely if I just want to go back to the list without a filter in each column heading. So I'll do Mega Mart this time and I'll filter for the selected cell. Now I can see all the products that were sold at Mega Mart and I could filter for just the milk orders. So right click here, filter and selected cell. What I can't do with an auto filter though is show any order where the customer is Mega Mart or the product is milk. I can only see the rows where it meets both criteria. So I'll turn off the filter here so we can look at the list again. So we can see that there were some Mega Mart milk orders but Food Mart had milk and Mega Mart had orders for other products but there's no way with an auto filter to get Mega Mart or milk. To do that kind of filtering, we would need an advanced filter. It's a little trickier to set up. You need to make a criteria range where you tell Excel exactly what you're looking for. To create a criteria range, we use the same headings that we have in the list. So I'm interested in customers and products. I'm going to copy those so I'll go to the Home tab and click Copy. I'll paste them up here at the top of the worksheet. So I know these headings are an exact match for the headings in the column. Then I want it to look for either a record where Mega Mart is a customer. So again, I'll just copy from here and paste so I know I'm using the exact text from my table. And I also want to see any records where milk is the product but I don't necessarily want Mega Mart milk orders. So I'm going to select milk, copy that, and instead of putting it in the same row where I've put Mega Mart, I'm going to go down to the next row and paste. What I've set up here is my criteria range. The range has a heading cell and you can have one or multiple columns that have your criteria. So for customer, I'm looking for Mega Mart. It can be any product. I'm also looking for records where there's any customer and the product is milk. When I apply my advanced filter, it will find any records that meet this row of criteria or this one. To run the advanced filter, I'm going to start by selecting a cell in the list and then go to the data tab and click advanced. This opens up this dialog box and you can either filter in place or you can even copy the data to a different location. So that's another advantage over an auto filter. I'm going to filter in place and it has detected the list range. Now I have to tell it where the criteria range is. So I'll click here. The criteria range includes the heading cells and the one or more rows of criteria that you've set up. I don't want unique records, I want all the records and click OK. And now we can see some rows have Mega Mart as the customer, but there are a few other items where the customer is different, but milk was sold in that order. So it has found Mega Mart with any product and any customer with milk. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.